Hey, man, kind of had some problems uh, and some issues with the volume uh, again. And uh, so let's see if we can't fix that. And, um, <laughs> let's see if we can't get in here. Um, all right, so let me get the volume level. Kind of adjusted here. Just a minute, friends, on uh, on, a, uh, on a Twitch TV here. Let me go ahead and... Uh, <laughs> Mercy, I got a lot of channels. Um, amen. All right. And, of course, you know, it's going to just keep uh, kind of spinning around here. Uh, so let's see if we can't get in there. And All right. Because I don't want the – I don't want it coming through the channel here. I want to make sure that uh, it is not double – what do you call that? Double – doubling up. Uh, anyway, let's get our backup on, of course, Spreaker, uh, channel there. There it is. All right. They are live on Spreaker, our backup channel one. Uh, Pastor Rick here. How you guys doing? Twitch TV. Haven't been here in a minute. Uh, trying to get back on track here. Trying to, uh, you know, uh, get everything going here. Um, so. Amen. All right. Well, I don't know if I <laughs> I can get in there to hear the volume level. I uh, I did not uh, kind of didn't expect to get in here. I mean, I did, but I didn't because uh, I want to mute the channel. Um, there it is. All right. Good enough. Um, all right. So yeah, we're on Melon instead of retreat uh, restream. Normally, that's the schedule, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, uh, at about uh, 8 o'clock. But like I said, I missed yesterday. I had a lot to do, a lot to take care of. Some personal issues came up. Uh, we've had two deaths in the family and then another uh, brother's uh, in the hospital. And uh, so that kind of took priority over everything. Uh, and so I had to kind of postpone some stuff and, and reschedule uh, podcast, but, uh, you know, we got to keep moving. We got to stay positive, uh, friends. And, uh, we got to, you know, give it to God, of course, uh, you know, lay the crown at his feet and just keep pushing forward. So that's God's plan. That's not my plan. That's God's plan. And well, that's what I got to do. So, uh, as hard as it is in the flesh, we got to keep, uh, spiritually moving forward and, and keep trusting God and, uh, just completely give it over to him no matter what. Uh, we can't give up, can't, uh, you know, stop doing what we got to do. So God has us on a plan, and that's his plan. That's not ours. So uh, anyway, friends, uh, I had some issues with the cross not being straight, so I don't know what's going on with that crazy thing. Uh, anyway, it's been, like, like I said, it's been, I think, since Sunday. Um, it was supposed to be... Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, like I said, 8 o'clock uh, Pacific Standard Time, and it just didn't happen. Just a lot of things, like I said, kind of crashed on me as, at once. But, like I said, uh, we're kicking the devil right out of the box, uh, friends. We got extra coffee, uh, so, you know, he's he's going to have to take a back seat on that one, and so... Um, you know, I got to stay focused and I, uh, you know, you guys that are here that are supporting the channel, uh, you know, I, I feel bad. You guys uh, deserve a little bit more. Uh, you deserve uh, uh, some more Bible study podcasts and, uh, you know, the mockers. Well, y'all get uh, put in your place by God, of course, and that's not, uh, it's not up to me to, uh, you know, I, I, I just got to stay on my post and, and share with you guys what I can uh, you know, and uh, do what I can here. Um, so <laughs> there it is. Anyway, I'm not mad at you, friends. I just, you know, I got such a hectic schedule. I don't know, you know, I, I, I actually set up a, a very ambitious podcast schedule. Uh, it, it's pretty much eight to 11 hours of recording, and then uh, another four or five hours of uh, updating and uh, resetting everything. Uh, and, of course, you know, the emails and all the messaging that I got to do. 
Uh, it's a it's a bit much, but uh, you know I know I keep fighting with God about that. He's like, yeah, I think you can handle it. You can handle my business, right? Well, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying anyway. So anyway, this probably won't be long. Just got a few scriptures for you. We're gonna go into First Corinthians. Uh, chapter 1, again, kind of a repeat uh, from today. Now, it was on earlier at 11 uh, over at um, uh, Mellon back here in the first Bible study podcast with YouTube. So you guys are kind of in the middle part, the second part here. Uh, and that generally is, like I said, at 8 o'clock at night. Uh, so Pacific Standard Time. Uh, generally, like I said, that's the 8 o'clock uh, podcast. So I wanted to get you guys on here. Uh, just to kind of make some stuff up, um, you know, get kind of get back on here anyway and give you guys at least something, right? Uh, so, won't be long, like I said, just probably roughly 30 to 40 minutes here. You guys hold your thoughts. Uh, please be kind to your brother and sisters here on the church service, friends. You are in church so, as I always tell you, act accordingly, uh, and not as the world, but in the spirit as church. Right? I know, I get, I, I talk about it every broadcast, seems I have to bring it up all the time, so we'll, <laughs> you know, you guys, now not all of you, I, you know, I appreciate uh, you guys that are on here that are really wanting to learn the studies and learn the Bible study and, you know, the podcast and all that stuff. Uh, but sometimes you guys, all right, like I always say, kids behave yourself. You're in church. Let's act according and act grown up here. Uh, <laughs> amen. All right. Where well, you're here live friends, Mellon TV, second service, uh, Thursday. It is, uh, Thursday, March 10th. Pastor Rick here, worldwide live ministry podcast for this afternoon's broadcast. Uh, amen. Got to check my cords here. Uh, somehow, uh, hopefully it's recording. Anyway, I'm on Spreaker, Anchor Cast Box, Block Talk Radio, right here at Melon TV. We got Twitch TV with us again, and we've got uh, we've got uh, LinkedIn back again with us. So uh, multitask and multi-recording uh, here as we usually do. Uh, so. Let's uh, jump right into it, friends. Let's see. I just kind of threw on my headset. This is the mic for Channel 1. And, of course, I got the new pod mic, road mic, or road, what is it, pod mic? Uh, the road pod mic uh, microphone, uh, brand new. That's always awesome. Got to upgrade in a little bit here, friends. All right. Well, we're going to get right into it. No time to waste here, friends. It's a little after 3.30. Uh, you're here for the second service update message. Got a few for you. Not a whole lot, but, you know, we're going to go over a Lord's Prayer and, of course, all the uh, regular Bible study uh, that we do here. And then, of course, uh, our opening scripture. Uh, again, kind of a recap it on uh, the uh, First Corinthians. So a little bit of time here. Not much, but uh, I wanted to update you guys and, you know, get back on here and Kick the devil, right? <laughs> Send him back to hell. All right, make sure I got <laughs> make sure I got my mic on, and let me straighten out my cross. Of course, I was gonna get the other cross and uh, just a stick pin kind of thing, and then I realized I didn't have it, so uh, I ordered another one. Uh, I should have that one uh, hopefully before the end of the month. It'll be a lot easier to deal with than the chain. Uh, which I like, but, you know, it's got some personal uh, sentimental value to me. But, you know, it's okay. I'll uh, I get this straightened out, too. Marcy, come on now. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to get a just a permanent cross I just put on the shirt. Uh, that way I don't have to mess with it. I don't have to worry about it because uh, it gets a little tough here uh, trying to balance everything out, trying to set everything up, so... Uh, anyway, we're going to pray it right in, friends. Come on down and come on in uh, to the church service here. Uh, again, uh, Melon TV back again for our second service here. Changed up the font design and the colors. 
Uh, it's always an option if you guys jump on over at the uh, Melon TV. And, uh, you know, if you happen to get on there and you want to do a broadcast or a podcast, well, check it out, friends. Uh, great channels. So, uh, amen. We've been on there for a while now, so it's always uh, awesome uh, to to be on there. It's a great channel. So, there you go. <laughs> Not trying to promote them, but I just like the channel. I just, you know, like the microphone. I just really like the products. It's great uh, for the ministry here. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and just pray it in, friends. Let's get going. Let's get started here. Uh, amen. Now, Heavenly Father, oh, you know, I come before you again. I am so grateful uh, for this day, for what you've brought and continue to bring uh, and provide. It's so awesome, and I always appreciate that. You know, I'm always humbled here. Uh, thank you for this day. Thank you for the opportunity to preach and share uh, your word today as I go into the second service here um, and uh, share this word, share the scriptures here. You know, I pray for everybody here, uh, of course, with family, friends, everybody watching and hearing. I pray for them, and I want to lift them up and encourage them. Uh, you know, I know the devil has got a stronghold on a lot of people, and uh, well, he's he's fighting hard to hold on because he knows his time is short. So, Father God, we trust you, we lean on you, and we, uh, of course, surrender and give everything to you as uh, you uh, are our shelter, our provider, our healer, everything. Father God, again, thank you so much, and I give this all over to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, friends, well, let's dig in. Grab your notes, grab your Bibles, your pens, your highlighters, uh, your coffee. Uh, amen. And, well, let's uh, let's have us some church. Let's get a Bible study in this afternoon here as we go into our second service. Uh, as I said, the second Bible study podcast, friends. All right, so we're going to dig right in, recapping, uh, friends, 1 Corinthians. You guys missed it on YouTube, so I always like to kind of, you know, redo some stuff, reshare some scriptures, um, you know, and uh, just, you know, kind of recap some stuff. So let's get into it, friends, uh, here on this Thursday afternoon, second Bible study service. All right, and again, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Now, I should be going into the other one later tonight, about 11. Uh, it, and again, it depends on what's, what's happening, what's going on with the, uh, you know, the updates and all that stuff. I've got a lot to cover, a lot to do. Um, and so I want to make sure that I get, uh, you know, get back on, uh, I mean, somewhat of a, you know, schedule anyway. So as I said, friends, uh, that is the tentative broadcast schedule, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But as I said, I missed yesterday, and I don't think I was on. Um, I don't. Oh, I was on, and I might have to change that. Uh, the sixth, and uh, yeah, like the sixth. So that was Sunday. Uh, so normally it should have been Monday. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but uh, I kind of just switch things up a little bit, give you guys a little bit of Bible study, uh, and now I'll see how things go tomorrow, Friday, uh, and I'll hopefully maybe get back on track uh, at, oh, like I said, about uh, 8 o'clock uh, tomorrow night, so we'll see. The, the schedule, you guys got to kind of be used to it by now, but unfortunately, there's not a whole lot I can do. I, it just depends on the scheduling and what I'm doing, uh, the workload that we've got in. Uh, now, like I said, we've got a brother in a hospital, and so everything's on hold right now. We're there's no construction. There's no now we had to bring supplies in, uh, but there's there's very little construction going on. I'm just kind of you know working on in the yard a little bit. Um, getting some of that stuff taken care of, some of the uh, summer prep, spring prep, uh, and that's about it. Uh, so everything's kind of, like I said, on hold right now, um, you know, and so I am basically just been kind of uh, concentrating on the podcast, just trying to get the scheduling worked out, get the notes worked out, uh, and the studies worked out. So, uh, you know, that's just kind of, 
uh, like I said, uh, I, I think God uh, definitely intervened and, uh, you know, I told this, the other, our other uh, minister there to uh, take a break, be responsible, take care of family business. I, you know, like I said, I've been kind of dealing with that ego, um, what do you call it, the ego, um, what's that word, um, the uh, <laughs> Leviathan spirit, uh, the Jezebel spirit, the egotistical, uh, boy, oh boy, that, that, that monster, that demon that he's got is something else. And uh, the, the problem is he's not admitting to that or won't repent to it. He, his spirit won't let him, um, won't let him, um, you know, humble, be humble or, or even admit that he's wrong. Uh, so that is a whole nother podcast and a whole nother story. You guys have heard me talk about that before. Uh, and you know, I, I'm not talking too much about it. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time dwelling on it, but that has really been intervening or interfering with my schedule, with my podcast, with my mission that God has called me to. So, uh, again, I, I think, and I'm feeling in my spirit, this was God's <laughs> intervention, uh, to take him to humble himself, to bring him to his knees and be humbled in the spirit. Uh, because like I said, it's, it's, you know, when you deal with that egotistical spirit and the Jezebel spirit that won't let you or won't allow you to be, uh, you know, admit or be humbled. Uh, well, God has a way of shutting it down and saying, this is what I want you to do, not what you want to do. And I think that's what's happening uh, with here. He used his family and his uh, brother to uh, really, really put a big stop sign in his road, you know, give him like a roadblock. And I pray for him. You know, of course, I don't have any animosity or anything. But, you know, it does make it, it interferes with my podcast. It interferes with what God has called me to do here uh, because my spirit is bothered and upset, you know, of course, in the flesh. But uh, so, I, you know, that's what kind of brought all uh, the the kind of the stoppage, I guess, of the broadcast here. I, I didn't really want to, you know, I, I think at one point or two, I, I kind of wanted to walk away and shut everything down. But again, then I look back at it and that was because uh, or caused from the other ministers, um, uh, the other ministers um, spirits that was affecting me and affecting my broadcast here and my scheduling and all that. I mean, it really did shut me down because it was it was relentless. The fights, the arguments, the ego, you know, the the <laughs> the spiritual attack uh, was really relentless and I did what I could, you know, to fight against it and to stand my ground, uh, praising God, of course, uh, all the time, completely giving everything over to him. Uh, you know, and like I said, I, God uses us in different ways and he uses, uh, he uses things, you know, in, in, in situations. And so this is, I, I'm really feeling this is what he did. He, he used, the situation <laughs> to to shut it down, you know, to say, hey, enough is enough. Uh, you know, you you got to do my will, not your own. You know, and and again, this that's what I'm feeling here, uh, really. And I don't want to go too much on it, uh, friends. I don't really want to dwell uh, a whole lot on it, but I just didn't want to bring that up. It's just little stuff that bothers me, uh, you know. And you guys don't. This isn't a rant thing for me here. Uh, you know, I want to feed you guys and give you some good spiritual uh, scriptures and notes and, you know, Bible study. And, uh, you know, I really kind of try to, as best I can, sometimes I, I mess up and I don't do it. But, uh, you know, I, I really try to keep my uh, my personal life, my personal issues out of the picture and... Uh, you know, make it really about God and really about sharing the Bible with you and scriptures and just reading, uh, you know, and having Bible studies. But uh, again, as I reflect back and I look at all the podcasts and 
you know, a lot of that, like I said, a lot of the, um, I guess, internal anger and depression was caused by the other minister that's uh, sharing uh, one of the other studios here. He was supposed to be out in the mobile unit and then kind of forced his way in, uh, kind of forced his way in to the studios where I'm at. And that's caused a lot of friction, uh, just because we're on two different schedules. And he's not right in the spirit. And so I have tried to pray and keep, you know, Kevin, uh, others pray for him. And, uh, you know, it, and it, it was hard, friends. And, and, you know, like I said, uh, this is really a difficult thing. And I, like I said, I try not to make it, you know, anything personal here. This isn't about me. This is about getting God's word out and being obedient to the spirit uh, and, uh, you know, just sharing the word and, uh, you know, giving it over to him as best I can and, you know, doing what I can. And so it, uh, again, it just was, oh man, it was so hard friends. It, it's been difficult. And, and you guys know, like I said, you guys know how, uh, transparent I am here with you always been. Uh, again, laying it on the line for you, um, you know, really just sharing my heart, sharing my feelings with you, um, you know, and, uh, not, <laughs> not trying to make it, uh, like I said, uh, completely, uh, you know, really completely just about my personal problems or issues here. Uh, but, uh, again, that was part of the problem. That was part of the, the issue. Um, and, uh, so I think, you know, I, I know God don't need our help friends. You know that, uh, God doesn't need our help. Uh, he, he is not, uh, he is not looking for help here. Uh, but I think that's what it was is he took all that away and, uh, well, he cleared the path so I can breathe a little bit here and, uh, I think things are going to. Uh, hopefully change here a little bit. I may be moving and uh, again, kind of talked about that previously or previously before. Uh, I'm actually going to be uh, probably relocating my studio out of here uh, because of that interference, that demonic spirit, that demonic possession of the studio causing interference and rifts and strife and anger and all that. That's no good friends. And uh, so you know, um, when that ego is so far out of control that um, you can't do anything but uh, keep praying, of course. I got to do that all the time. But, uh, you know, when it doesn't change and it doesn't get better, it, it's time to make a move. So I think that's what's going to end up happening here in the next few months. Um, because as of now, um, I finally have the studio back, uh, to my own or to myself, uh, without interference and, uh, you know, God just kind of took care of the situation. So praise God, right? Anyway, that's my little rant. You guys, again, you know how transparent I am here. Uh, these are not about me. This is about ob being obedient and giving back to God as he has given to me, um, and, um, you know, really, really uh, about giving you guys uh, Bible studies, uh, messages, scriptures, you know, feeding the, the flock of God, as I've been commanded and called to do, being, you know, spirit-led. It's not really been based on personal ranting and raving, and you guys know that, I I'm really humbled to be here, and I'm grateful to be here with you guys and, you know, to share the church here, share the scriptures in the church here, um, you know, but that's, and there's been a few of these here, unfortunately, recently, there has been a few of these kind of rant podcasts, and I don't mean to do that, friends, you guys know, uh, again, this has never been about me or any of my personal issues here or, you know, church issues here, uh, really, but you know, I, I've been dealing with that for quite a while. Uh, and again, I think, uh, well, I'm feeling it. Like I said, I, I'm feeling, uh, God just came in and said, okay, enough's enough. The bullying's got to stop. The threat's got to stop. The, 
you know, the uh, the ego's got to be humbled. And uh, so God has a way of taking care of things, friends, for sure. Uh, <laughs> you know, God is... God has a serious way of taking care of issues when his children are, when, you know, when his soldiers are getting messed with, when his, you know, when, in a, as I said, I'm not going to talk about this too much more here, but when you are called to be a commando soldier and you claim to be a soldier, uh, God's going to hold you completely accountable for everything, every word, every step, everything that you do or say. God's going to hold you accountable for that. And I think he just got out of control and his ego and his demonic possession, you know, or listening to the demons, listening to the devil and not to God just going off on his own. I think that God just put a wall and said, that's it. Uh, you are not a uh, pastor. You are not a commander, uh, soldier commander or commando soldier. Uh, you are not... Uh, who you claim to be. Uh, again, the Bible clearly states that, that there are false prophets already in this world that are uh, ruining uh, churches, ruining ministries uh, c because of demonic ego uh, possession. Uh, and so uh, I think uh, as I reflect, I think God just said, nope, that's enough. Uh, I'm going to humble you. Uh, one way or the other, and you're not going to like the results because you're we aren't bigger than God, friends. And and I think his his uh, ego uh, really blew up as I as continually was attacked, uh, bullied, threatened. Uh, like I said, um, and uh, that made things difficult for me personally. But uh, as I said. Uh, I try to leave that out. I try to leave the situations of the church, you know, really out and, and just, you know, come on here and give you guys some good scriptures and uh, joke around a little bit, have some coffee and uh, share the word of God. And that's, you know, I, I'm humbled. Trust me, I, I'm humbled because he always wants to say, uh, you know, you got to stay humble so you don't stumble. But he's the one that's stumbling and he's the one that's causing the friction and uh uh, chaos and um, been difficult, friends. It, it really has. And like I said, you guys know how transparent I am. I lay it on the line for you, uh, and and I try not to use this as therapy, as to just you know, um, I guess that maybe not with the word, but you know, I um, I really try to uh, keep this podcast scripturally sound and biblically sound and you know in the in, only in the holy spirit um but again it has been bothering me and it's been you know and, and there's so much out there about pastoral bullying or ministerial bullying or churches bullying on people and i know i talk to you know i counsel and talk to people all the time that they have gone through that personally you know and I, you know you guys know our my counseling line is always open Prayer lines, of course, are always open 24-7 on every channel. Uh, and I do answer all the emails and all the messages myself. Um, you know, and it's it has been difficult, friends. And, that's, I, and again, that's why I explained there has been some gaps in the podcast because I'm just too overwhelmed with things. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want that. I, you know, you guys come first, the channels and the podcast, of course, comes first. But when my spirit man is wrecked to the point where I, I'm getting affected, uh, you know, it's tough. And that is not, uh, the point or the purpose of why, uh, you know, why I, you know, I, 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 I don't know. I guess I just push through it. Um, you know, of course, I we're not equipped to handle that, as I always tell you. Uh, we are not equipped to handle those situations, and we just got to let that go. And I, I'm like I said, I'm uh, I fall short of that at times, and I don't mean to be, but uh, I do fall short of letting things go. I hold it in and try to all you know move on and do the best I can, but um, you know, things are changing here, things are changing. I'm making uh, some strifes and, uh, you know, some, 
some moves, right? <laughs> some power moves here in the ministry. We are stepping up. We're getting more people, uh, more views, more subscribers. And, uh, oh, it's it's so good, friends. As, and, and, again, as we, you know, we stay humble, we keep moving forward. We give it all over to God every day. Thank Him every day, of course. You know, we put our feet on the ground and, and thank God every day. Uh, friends, and so you know, I'm trying to trying to do the best I can here. And I, like I said, I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Uh, don't give up. I, like I said, it was a long time ago. I was going to walk away from this. Well, a few, more than once, I was actually going to walk away from this, and I said, no, I can't do that. You know, uh, we're hungry. There's a lot of uh, real hungry uh, souls that that need this gospel. You know, uh, not it's not about the you know talking about all that stuff, and I'm not definitely not into the uh, into the gossiping kind of podcast. This isn't what this is about. But you guys know I'm I'm gonna lay it on the line. I'm gonna tell you how things are. Um, you know, and I appreciate you guys for that for that support. Uh, you know, it helps me as well. You know, being able to vent a little bit. Uh, not ent- <laughs> entirely, but it helps me to have you guys to listen, uh, you know, um, and uh, be able to vent out a little bit. Not not too much, but, you know, I try to reel it in. I get off track and off topic, and I try to, you know, bring it on back and reel it on in, you know. But you guys help me. This is great. Uh, you know, as my friends were like, yeah, the podcasts are kind of like therapy. It's kind of reverse therapy. You get a chance to vent out and talk, and then um, you know, then you feel better and you can move on. Uh, you know, I really, I really appreciate you guys. You know, and, and that's worth all the channels, not just here, but all the channels that I'm on. Oh, you guys are such a blessing, and it is so awesome to be here. Uh, and like I said, because of the attacks and the uh, kind of the personal issues that I have been having to deal with here uh, from the other minister, uh, and I won't acknowledge him as a pastor. He's not. That's a uh, it's a self proclaimed, self named pastor, not a uh, not a real pastor, because there we wouldn't be doing stuff like that. Um, you know, we're here to build you up, and I, uh, you know, in the spirit. Um, so that is really kind of hindered why I, I changed the scheduling down to three days a week because of that interference. But, uh, you know, I, and I've tried, like I said, I think I was on here Sunday. Um, so yeah, we're Thursday already. So, you know, three days, um, Hasn't been easy. Hasn't been, you know, really good. Um, but, you know, and I apologize for that, friends, too. Uh, you know, you guys are awesome, and I do appreciate your time. I do appreciate you following here. Uh, and again, fast forward through the complaining part, uh, the the ranting five minutes, ten minutes of ranting here. Well, maybe longer. Sorry about that, friends. But, uh, you know, I really had to get some things off my chest uh, so let's uh, let's move on and uh, have us a good church service here. I do appreciate you guys, like I said, so much. Uh, let's open your Bibles, have that coffee, and let's get into the first uh, scripture here. Uh, again, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, and then we're going to go into our uh, Lord's Prayer and, uh, you know, our podcast notes for this Thursday, March 10th, second service here, uh, a little after 4 p.m. Again, started this at, oh, what did I call it, 3.30. So, uh, Pastor Rick, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, my friends, let's give it over to God, right? Lay the crown at his feet and move on, right? Uh, lay the problems, lay the issues, lay our troubled hearts at the feet of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, friends, uh, let's let's have a well, let's have a good Bible study. Let's have a great Thursday. The rest of it, anyway. Uh, I think I've got one more Bible study podcast. Like I said, about eleven o'clock over on YouTube, and 
uh, Restream. I'm back on Restream TV, so I may switch it up. Uh, do Mondays and Fridays at Melon, and then do Wednesdays on Restream. Just kind of switch things up a little bit, give you guys a little bit diverse uh, study here. But uh, like I said, I really felt bad, and really, you know, from from Sunday is, you know, that's uh, well, it's always I've always had a fight issue and uh, everything with the other one uh, with the other minister. Um. And um, that's been all week. It's, it, I mean, it never ends. Really, when I look at it and think about it, it never really ends. The attacks never stop. Uh, so I literally have to come into the studio uh, just to get some kind of peace of mind. You know, I have to deal with it going out to uh, the VIP kitchen to get anything to eat or coffee or anything, which I've moved the coffee stuff in here. But, uh, you know... When you're getting pastoral bullied or ministerly bullied, like I said, I'm not going to acknowledge him as a pastor, but when you get constantly uh, berated and bullied, uh, you know, that it kind of just like, oh, that's not, that's not good. And so that just really kind of crushed my spirit, man. Um, but um I, and I don't even know what triggered this, friends. I just really wanted to vent it, this out and, and just kind of let this go. Uh, and, I, you know, I probably haven't done a very good job of letting it go because I'm still kind of hanging on to it, but it's still kind of affecting me here. But, um, you know, I, I'm going to change that. Like I said, I, you know, as I always preach out, hey, we got to let that go and give it to God. And, I, you know, like I said, I'm, I apologize for that. I probably haven't done a real good job of letting this go. Um, it's still eating at me and it still, uh, kind of bothers me. So I got me some praying to do friends as I always do every, every chance and every day I, I got some more praying to do and I got to let this go. So if I don't get back on here tomorrow, don't worry. Uh, I'll, I'll get back on here and, uh, you know, I, I'm starting to feel a little bit better and, um, you know, again, you, this isn't, uh, about the, the, personal uh thing but as you guys saw in the last po- couple of podcasts the last few podcasts i've done uh i've had to do a little bit of venting it's just really eating me up and bothering me and i i don't want i mean i don't want there to be a whole lot of gaps in here um you know but because uh, it's not good to preach out of anger or you know frustration or um you know, or or anxiety or any of that. Uh, you know, we're supposed to preach with a pure heart and a pure mind. And uh, unfortunately, sometimes that hasn't happened. I, I've really, you know, and like I said, I got a lot to learn. I, I'm only new with this uh, myself, friends. I mean, even though I've been at it for about 17 or 18 years, I think it's 20 maybe. Uh, you know, I, I, I seem fairly new uh, to it. Um, you know, and, uh, try to let it go, you know, I'm just trying to fight through it and, and let it go and give it over to God, not hang on to it. Cause, oh, it's not good. It's just not, it just eats you up, you know, and I've, I've tried conferences. I've tried, uh, confrontation, uh, you know, and, and kind of trying to nip it, you know, as it should be and end it. But the other half is, the other person is just not willing to submit uh, or uh, or humble, you know, or be humble. And so what do you do? You know, I, I got to move on. I got a mission to do. God's called me to do this. And, uh, you know, I, I try to do the best I can. But it just, boy, oh, boy, friends. You know, and I know, I relate, I can relate to a lot of people, and a lot of friends of mine have told me, hey, you know, we've gone through this ourselves, you know, uh, and unfortunately, you know, it's out there. So, uh, we just got to trust God and hang on and keep moving and, and just push through, right? Do our best, friends, right? Amen. All right, now, let me check my gear, because I think... I am done with that, <laughs> right? Fast forward, friends. Uh, hang on here. All right, let me see where that's at. Okay. And let me get my 
bear with me. My, uh, <laughs> there it is. My, uh, um, my mic is not right. There it is. All right. Now that that's over with, let's get to some scriptures here, friends. Uh, and again, you guys are awesome, and I really hope you stick around with me. I really hope you stay with me here, build this community up. There, all these podcasts aren't going to be the identical. They're not going to be like this. Um, like I said, I am uh, looking into a different location, so I don't have to deal with all this. You know? Um, so, anyway... For now, let's get into some church, let's get into some Bible study, let's get into some scriptures, uh, and again, if I don't see you guys um, tomorrow at 8, uh, I'll reset something up over the weekend with a whole fresh attitude, friends, and a whole spiritual, a whole new spiritual uh thought, I guess, uh, you know, and like I said, I, I don't mean to make all these ever personal. It's not about, like I said, it's always not about me. It's about God and, and giving back. And uh, I know I've repeated that a couple of times, but I want to make it clear that uh, I'm on God's time and God's mission. So with that, let's move on. All right, let's get right to 1 Corinthians. Now, Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God uh, and Sothenus, our brother. Uh, amen. All right. Um, a gnat. I was a gnat. Just fell off the, dropped out of the ceiling or something. Mercy. It's not good. <laughs> Man, bugs, spiders. <sighs> Man. All right. So, to the will of God and soften us our brother and to the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are uh, sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be saints. Uh, amen. Let me fix this. Uh, called to be saints with all that in every place, as he says. All right. So that's going to fix that. Uh, in every place, call upon the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord, both theirs and ours. Uh, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. All right. I thank my God always on your behalf to the grace of God, which is given you by Christ, our Jesus Christ, that in everything ye are enriched or enriched by him in all utterance and in all knowledge even as the testimony of Christ was confirmed in you. Amen. All right. Uh, let's see. So that ye come behind uh, in no gift, waiting for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ again in verse 7, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, who shall also confirm you into the end, that ye may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Friends, God is faithful by whom ye were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, uh, our Lord. Now, the Corinthian problem and divisions. Now, I beseech you, brethren, be then the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that ye all speak the same thing, and that there be no divisions among you, but that ye be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. And see, this is my whole point of why I'm going into 1 Corinthians because of this situation. Amen. So I got a lot to learn. Like I said, I got a lot to study. Uh, and, uh, you know, maybe I am harboring, and I got to let that go. So thank you guys for listening to me. Thanks for taking time out in your schedule uh, to, to listen to my rant a little bit here. And, again, um, not, not what I intended, but it just kind of – came out so i appreciate you guys uh listening to me and giving me uh, a, a channel uh to do a little bit of ranting a little bit of rabbling here friends amen all right for it hath been declared unto me you uh unto me of you my brethren by which are the house of chloe that are uh contentions among you 
Exactly my point. See, God makes it happen. He puts these scriptures out uh, <laughs> on time, on point, right? So, as he said, for it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are the house of Chloe, are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. And the scripture clearly says, a house divided cannot stand. So, here we go. <laughs> now this I say, that every one of you saith, I am of Paul, and I am of Apollos, and I am of Cephas, and I am of Christ. Now, Paul speaks against divisions. And, and again, right on the right on point here, friends. Give me a minute. Let me adjust my headset uh, for the microphone here, for the uh, mixer. Uh, is Christ divided? Uh, was Paul crucified for you, or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you but Crispus and Gaius, lest any should say that I uh, baptized in mine own name. Uh, and I baptized also the household of Stephanus. Besides, I know not whether I baptized any other. All right. For Christ sent me, let me move that mic up here. For Christ uh, sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. See, my point exactly. God knows exactly where to pinpoint me or to, to point me over here. Uh, so he says in verse 17, 1 Corinthians 1, For Christ sent me not to, uh, not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. Not with wisdom of words, lest the cross uh, of Christ should be made of none effect, right? For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness, but unto us which are saved it is the power of God, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and will bring to nothing uh, the understanding uh, of the prudent. Where is the wise? Where is the scribe? Where is the disputer of this world? Uh, hath not God made foolish the wisdom of this world? For after that in the wisdom of God, the world of wisdom knew not. It pleased God by the foolish, uh, foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. For the Jews require a sign, and the Greeks seek after wisdom. But we preach Christ crucified unto the Jews a stumbling block and unto the Greeks foolishness. Uh, but then are them unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks. Christ, the power of God and the wisdom of God, because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. And the weakness of God is stronger than men. For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called. But God hath chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And God hath chosen the weak things of the world to uh, confound um, to confound the things which are mighty. And the, uh, let's see, and chose, I believe, uh, are those things. Um, let's see, I think that's, what is that? Um, and it shows uh, the things of the world uh, and things which are despised. Both God hath, or hath God chosen, yea, and things which are not to bring to not things that are. Uh, that no flesh should glory in his presence, but of him are ye in Christ Jesus who of God has made us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption, and that according as it is written, he that glorieth, um, let him glory in the Lord. Well, there you go. Uh, I really wanted to get that back out again. Um, amen. Let me get a couple of notes here. 
and of course redoing my Bible, redoing my notes, um, kind of working on it as I see it, as I get a chance to. I kind of talked about that before, friends. You know, re, uh, not not reinventing the Bible, but correcting my uh, my notes. You know, I want to make sure I get that in there. All right, good enough. Uh, that was a good uh, good scripture there, friends. Um, amen. And let me try to fix that. So, all right. Well, that's. Yeah, it's pretty close. Um, uh, we should be going into chapter two today or tonight. If I don't, like I said, if I don't get back on tonight uh, on restream, the plan is to go about eleven o'clock on restream. But I'll see, kind of have to see, kind of where I'm at with things, um, friends. So again, if I don't get to everything, I uh, will just save it out. I'll come back tomorrow. Um, and if again, if I can't get on tomorrow, things happen because uh, I never know here. I, I'm I have such a hectic schedule. Um, you know, this is why I wanted to get back on here uh, today and uh, give you guys uh, another scripture, another uh, you know, another study here. So. Oh, I got to keep away from that devil guy. That's for sure. Uh, let me bring that up. Let me bring that thunder up here on our Spreaker channel. Uh, anyway, I think I need what I need is what I need. I need the serenity prayer. Good grief, right? Help me. Help me, Lord. <laughs> As I always say, give me some help, Lord, because I'm calling on you. I can't do this by myself. I, I can't. I can't carry the load. I'm not equipped for that, and I need you. Uh, amen, Father God. All right? Amen. All right. How about we go into our notes? Let's go right into it, friends. Serenity Prayer. I'll probably close this out. Uh, amen, friends. Always great to see you guys. All right. Uh, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time. Enjoying one moment at a time and accepting hardships as a pathway to peace. I know. Uh, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is. Uh, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. And again, I know I need to apply this. Amen, I do. All right, got something on my mic, and I don't know what that is. Uh, mercy, there it is. All right. Had a little fuzz or something on there. It's kind of bothering me. It's right in my vision, right in my, my sight here, and I can see it, and I just I can't move it. I can't get it off there. Uh, anyway, that's a uh, lie for one. So, All right, again, I got to apply this. I got to go back to this. Uh, trusting he will make all things right if I surrender to his will. Amen. That I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. We'll talk about that new Jerusalem. All right, let's move on to the Lord's Prayer. Now, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Church, uh, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, let's roll right on down. Uh, dear God, I know that I am a sinner and I need a Savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, died on the cross for me. I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. And at this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. To live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Right? Uh, we got to give him all the glory, friends. we got to give him all the glory. Right? Amen. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life and 
Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <coughs> All right, I got to get that coffee. I got that fresh brewed cup of coffee sitting right here. I needed to grab me a, a little bit here. Oh, well, I do feel better. Thank you guys for listening. <laughs> uh, your check's in the mail, friends. Uh, I'll cover it. All right. Uh, anyway, get a hold of me, World Wildlife Live Ministry Podcast, yahoo.com. Uh, if you said this prayer with me, friends, and um, yeah, let me know. I appreciate you. Uh, and I'll keep praying for you. Uh, pray for me too, if you can. I appreciate your prayers uh, as I go through the my personal trials and tribulations, friends. Oh, mercy. <laughs> well, you know, they say the closer you get to God, you know, the devil attacks and, and tries to divide the church. As we've seen clearly, you guys have seen this too, uh, even in your local churches, wherever you're at. There is some strife and, and divisions, uh, you know, uh, and that's just because the you know we know the devil's uh, time is short and he's uh, really trying to make a, a real mess out of things and he's doing that, but uh, you know and he's he's doing whatever he has to, uh, and that's you know again that's why I stand and fight, I stand my ground. Uh, regardless of whether it's a personal issue or with a church issue or with a minister issue, uh, if you know, uh, or here on the podcast, I've I've stuck to this channel as best I can uh, through all the attacks, all the comments, all the you know the rude hate raids. As uh, we've been getting them here, you know, us that preach, uh, we've been getting some of the hate raids. I think some of the, even the reg- regular channels. Uh, the gamer channels and stuff. There's been hate raids. It just there's no point, but that's the devil, and that's that's what he does. He tries to send dominions into attack, uh, and uh, we just gotta uh, you know uh, keep praying and keep trusting God that He's got a plan and, and let that go. And you know I'm doing the best I can with it too, friends. And uh, again, you know, um, stand on my ground. Like I said, whether it's here on the channel. Or on any of the podcast channels I'm on worldwide, or you know, on a personal level, uh, again on the church level, on the on the uh, minister level, uh, other pastors attacking. Uh, if I see it and it's not right and it's not biblical, I'm going to call it and I'm going to stand my ground. We are commanded to do that, you know, uh, not judging, not in a judgmental way but to help uh support our brethren right and sisters but uh you know when it it you know it, when it continues and doesn't stop we got to call it out i uh, get uh what was it uh bring the issue to uh another brethren you know and if that doesn't work you bring it to another one and if that doesn't work you bring it you know before you you know call it out but it's biblical, and there's a way to sort things out. But uh, you know, I don't know, uh, friends. I'm I'm just you know I just I'm not built that way, and that's not the way God has called me to this ministry. It's not the way God called me to this these podcasts. I, I can't just sit idle, uh, you know. Otherwise, it says if we don't call it, the blood's on our hands. Well, I'm accountable to God for what He has given me, uh, and I can't let that demonic interference at all uh, interfere with this broadcast. This is what God has called me to, you know, and I, I just, I can't, um, I can't sit idly by and um, do nothing or say nothing, you know. So again, uh, put the scriptures to good use, right? Uh, Amen. I love, uh, I love first Corinthians and I'll be going into that later on again. And uh, like I said, if I don't get back to you guys today or tomorrow, well, that's why I'm doing this one now. But uh, if I don't get back on here tomorrow at 8, I'll reset and come on back when I get a chance. So, uh, But I haven't forgotten about you guys. Um, You know, I really haven't. Uh, You guys are just such a blessing to be here. Uh, Amen. And there's my channel. So... Um, but yeah, I haven't forgotten about you guys. Uh, I know there's been a huge amount of gaps in between this channel, but, uh, again, that was all the personal, uh, 
battles that I've been dealing with over the last several months and years, I guess, the last, since last year. Uh, just personal attack. Well, I guess it's been two years. It's It's been quite a bit. I've been on here for a while. Uh, I really like this channel. And at first it was like, well, maybe God doesn't want me on here. But I figured it out. God does want me on here as he has called us to preach to the least, you know, and uh, to all nations, kindreds, and tongues. So uh, that didn't come from God. That came from the devil. That came from the enemy trying to chase me off of here. And that just, that's not going to fly. And is it flying, my friends? So a warning to the devil. A warning to the enemies. I'm standing my ground. Amen. All right. Let's go into the armor of God because I know personally I need me some armor today, friends. Uh, that's the first scripture I read this morning. Every time I get up, put my feet on the ground, have my cup of coffee, uh, close my eyes, pray, and put on the armor of God. Amen. So let's go there. Ephesians 6.10 through 20 and i'll probably just close out here friends we'll probably uh i i think i've <laughs> i think i ran it enough here and i give you guys some good scriptures so until the next broadcast friends so let's go look at this all right because i don't want you to get god i don't want me to get god i gotta get you know we we gotta be saved and uh, repent and uh give it over to the lord and i know i'm trying friends so again thank you guys well, finally, my brethren and sisters, be strong in the Lord, I know, uh, and the power of his might put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers. I know the Spirit is just barking at me here. Oh, mercy. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand an evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod of the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. I uh, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God. Uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit. And watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that, that there I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Good scripture. Good call, right? Amen. I love that part. Um. All right. Well, uh, as it says in... As I was just looking at my notes here, uh, 1 Peter 5, 5, for your adversary, the devil walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And we know he's on the full attack. He's trying to divide our houses and divide our families and uh, divide the churches. And you guys can clearly see that uh, as, you know, as life progresses and uh, uh, just walk in public and go to the stores and you know, turn on the TV. It's just uh, very demonic, you know, very uh, demonic spiritual divisions. And that's what the enemy wants. So, you know, that's why we got to keep digging in. I'm, you know, like I said, I, I'm personal on a personal level. I'm trying to, uh, you know, do the best I can here. And, and, and like I said, keep it scripture, keep it biblical. Uh, but... Sometimes I got to vent, my friends, and I appreciate your time. Uh, like I said, you help me. You you guys help me as much as I I hope that I help you guys. I, I really do. Uh, you know, as, as I look at the scriptures, uh, God gave us the increase. So I got to keep that in mind, not 
<laughs> try to keep the rants down to at least a couple of minutes, not, you know, a half an hour or so. That's terrible. I, you know, apologize about that, friends. Um, <laughs> cause I don't, I don't mean to do that. Um, amen. Oops. All right. So I appreciate you guys so much. You're so awesome here. All right. Well, like I said, I'm not going to get to all the scriptures here. Um, like I said, I'll kind of spread this out to the next set. Uh, I've got a lot. To, and, um, you know, I, I think what I want to do is save this. I'll redo the broadcast here. I'll redo the notes um, cause you know, like I said, I got a lot here and, um, but I think, um, I think what I want to do, uh, friends, we'll go ahead and, and end the broadcast here. Um, I will, uh, reset this and, uh, and if I, like I said, if I get a chance tomorrow, Friday, eight o'clock, uh, I'll jump back on here. Uh, if anything changes, of course, you guys will know. And, um... Yeah, so there you go. And uh, again, I uh, apologize for the rant. Not my intention. I really didn't mean to do that. But sometimes, my friends, oh, mercy. All right. So, um, yeah, I think that's what I'll do is I'll uh, kind of reset everything, redo it. And, uh, well, I'll bring you guys some more study. We'll have a, about an hour or two. Uh, I never know, like I said, I, I never know how long I'm going to do these. I don't have any rule. I have a set time, but I kind of really don't. I just kind of, you know, st stage these out. I don't know how long you guys want. Uh, and I know maybe you could leave it in the comments. Uh, maybe help me out, uh, give me an idea. Because this is a way different channel than YouTube and all the other ones that I'm on. Uh, and so I never know how long a Bible study you guys want. You know, I know I have a set set of scriptures and, and studies and all that. Um, you know, and, and so I, I, I just never know how long of these I'm supposed to do or should do or what fits with you guys. Because I know, like, this is a way different schedule, a way different, uh, you know, way different channel. There's a lot of different stuff on here. Uh, I like it because it's really diverse. So uh, I've always enjoyed this channel. I've always, I just didn't like the, you know, obviously the hate raids and the attacks. Uh, that wasn't pleasant to deal with. But as my former pastor said, and you're getting attacked. That's what's expected. The hatred of the world. Uh, that's that's what's going to happen. You, you you know, you out there preaching the word of God, you're going to get attacked. You're going to get the hate. Uh, so that's, uh, hopefully made me a little bit stronger, not much, but a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, well, that's kind of where I'm at friends. So anyway, thank you guys. Appreciate you. Uh, World Wide Live Ministry Podcast, uh, network there, Pastor Rick. Uh, I feel a lot better. Thank you guys. And, uh, you know, I'm trying to keep the rants down to under five minutes next time. So stick around Monday, Wednesday, Fridays at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for now. Uh, I'll maybe throw a couple, maybe one on the weekend or something. I'd really like to do that again. Uh, but uh, again, I'll pray on it and, and keep praying on it and see where I'm at with things. But I uh, appreciate you guys. Well, have a great Thursday, friends. This is your second service here again, March 2nd or March 10th, not the 2nd. Uh, I think we're a little bit past that, <laughs> I would say so. Um, yeah. Well, that's it for me. I'm getting out of here. Uh, I've got a little bit of dinner to cook and uh, get some things done. And, uh, of course, kind of, uh, you know, a little bit more praying to do. Let, letting that, some of that uh, frustration and anger get out of my system and give it over to God. Now, we'll see how things go tonight. Uh and like I said, I appreciate you guys always. So stick around. Don't give up on it, friends. Uh, I got a lot more for you. Uh, I really do. Um, so thank you guys again. Always appreciate you. Take care. Blog Talk Radio. Let's close you guys out. And again, I did that again. There it is. 
All right. Well, I got to close this out, friends. So bear with me for a second. Melon TV. Uh, let me close out Blog Talk Radio. And I'll see you on the next broadcast, friends. Take care. All right. Give me a minute. Uh, let's see. Hold that thought. And um, let's see. Oops. Um, let's see. I got to do this little thing in the end. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, yep, there it is. And let's close out Blog Talk. Let's close out them again. Somehow they double they double set. Uh, Marcia, friends. All right, so that is uh, good to go. We got that on Blog Talk, finally. And let me uh, see. Let's get into our Spreaker channel. All right, there it is. We got that church one last time. Uh, so let me close out the channels here. I got a lot to do, a lot to set up here. Um, I appreciate you guys, like I said, so much. Uh, amen, amen, amen. All right. Uh, let's close it out. There's their uh, second service here, March 10th, Thursday, Pastor Rick, World Wildlife Ministry Podcast, Spreaker.com. See you on the next broadcast. Take care on Channel One. Amen. All right, Melon, hold that thought. Give me a minute here. Let me let me go through my my stuff here. Um, amen, friends. All right. Well, I'll talk to you on the next broadcast, friends. Take care for this Thursday afternoon. Thursday, Thursday second service here, and let's get that out. Let's get uh, channel two out of here. I'll see you guys on the next broadcast. And, oh, that's it, friends. Um. Yeah, have a great Thursday and a great weekend as we go into our weekend. I'll see you real soon, not too far in between. Uh, trying to, uh, well, uh, shoot for Friday night, 8 o'clock, friends, right back here. So, Spreaker, see you soon. Amen, friends. Good to be on here again.